What's up, guys? Kelvin here. Today, I'm going to talk about some problem、uh, when you flashing ESC and then you break the ESC. We have some customer reporting they break the ESC on their Hummingbird V3.、Uh, so there is a bug、uh, from the ELS receiver, SPI based ELS receiver,、uh, on, with an all-in-one board. If you forget to turn off the radio. Basically, the receiver are talking to the remote, and then while you using the ESC configurator to flash the firmware for the ESC,、uh, I think somehow it will creating some interference, or it will causing the update to fail. And when you fail、uh, to update the the ESC, it's basically、uh, you cannot get it back to normal、uh, under the ESC configurator. Let me show you an example in here. Let's connect to my flight controller to the ESC.、Uh, so this is not a Hummingbird ESC, by the way. I'm using the B Brain, but it should be the same to show you the process. So I'm going to flash the first ESC, and then I'm going to unplug the USB to simulate its fail during the flashing. So it's flashing. When it start flashing, I unplug the USB port, and now it is connected. And I plug it back. After I plug it back, let's connect and see what happened. Let's refresh the page here and read. And、uh, now you only see two, three, four. You, it's missing the number one ESC. So at this point, you will need to use、uh, JESC configurator to bring the bricket, the bricket ESC back to normal. So let me bring up the JESC and click connect, and then read setting. So in here you will see it's reading all the ESC, and the number one ESC shows up, but it shows fresh fail. With with this point, you can just use the JESC to bring it back, bring the bootloader back, and then. Uh, later on, you can use the ESC configurator to flash BlueJ firmware、uh, back to the ESC. So in here, let me show you how to do it.、Just, uh, randomly choose a. You have to choose the right target. For example, for the the, the B brand BLV4 is SH40. For the Hummingbird is OH10. So in here, I'm going to just choose whatever.、Uh, PWM. It doesn't matter. It, we just want to use this as a bridge to bring it back to normal, and click fresh. And now it's freshing. Let's wait for it. Okay. And after you get this one done, disconnect, and then let's go back to ESC configurator. Connect. Re. And now it will show up in here, JESC. So you can flash it back to a normal、uh, JESC,、uh, a blue blue JESC, not the JESC. So in here you can you can flash it to blue J. So I already can see the ESC show up in here, and I just choose the、uh, the firmware I like to flash on. Somehow it's weird. Like、uh, this one, it only shows sixteen point seven official latest master. And oh, this is BL Halias. I'm sorry. Let's choose Blue J and SH40, and then also uh, night. Uh, I think V zero nineteen point two is good. And then frequency, I would always choose forty eight and click fresh. And now it's freshing. And my old BlueJ firmware is on O zero point sixteen. I have to fresh off them to make it match with the newest one I fresh on. But anyway, this is just show you how to get this back to normal, how to unbreak the ESC by using the JESC configurator. And, and yeah, that's it. If you have any question, just leave a comment. Let us know. And by the way,、uh, when you're flashing the ESC, remember to turn off your remote control. That will avoid that problem. All right, thanks for watching.